What's up YouTube, Spike Man Dan coming back again with the master plan. Alright, so as you can tell from the uh, last videos that we did, uh, you noticed I had the header pipe on the Coleman CT100U without the muffler. Well, guess what? It showed up in the mail today and I got her installed. Let's check out the video on how she sounds. Go ahead and step on out here. And go ahead and set my camera right here so I can go ahead and start the bike. Hey, check it out, all snazzy looking. New air filter. The jet has been ported. Thanks to uh, WK. Thank you for that. All the parts have been ordered from Hot Rod Mini Bike. And man, that, that muffler just looks pretty big on there for a small bike. But yeah, the nice thing about this is, is I got my uh, top end back. That there's the little sticker. Extreme drive system with a nice little hot chick on there. Yeet. So let's go ahead and fire it up, see uh, how much quieter she is. I rode it around the uh, neighborhood. It is substantially a lot quieter. It's not so annoying like it was before. Just check it out. Let me fire it up and see what you all think. So yeah, I'd say that's a heck of a lot better. Gets that little bit of back pressure going back into the engine. The only other thing I need to do is get a little filter for this uh, valve cover hose. That seems to be making a little bit of a mess back here, but not the not bad. Badass little air filter. And yeah, she's pretty much on her way up to the next step of what I have planned for. I'm gonna try to get the heavier valve springs. Try to put them on here. Maybe see if they work, but before I do that, I'm gonna order it for the Predator 212 first and see comparatively if the valve springs are the same diameter. If they are the same diameter, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the valve springs on the uh, stock three horse. Like I said, I'm going to give it everything she could possibly get. Spike Man Dan, come out with the master plan. So yeah, we're making progress on the Coleman CT100 Youth Sport. And I also would like to show you guys something else I got in the mail today. For the uh, Predator 212. Go ahead and dig that little sucker right on out. As soon as I get this out of the box, I bet every single one of you can tell me what this little duty, little ditty is. Hmm, what could that be a part two, I wonder? Could it be? No way. The Makuni. Woo! Yes, indeed. We got the Makuni for the uh, Predator 212. I'm not messing around on this, boys. We're going to go fast. 
And we got the nice, beautiful engine sitting right there with its header pipe already on it, just waiting to get all the billet aluminum rods, flywheels, valve springs, you name it. It's gonna have it before it goes on the frame. So with that being said, Spike Man Dan, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned to the next video segments. Coming with the master plan, as always, salute Spike Man out.